Hello everyone. I welcome you all to the Solar Clue channel. I am Akshay and today we are going to discuss a very important topic. How to select a solar water heater. Now selecting a solar water heater is very tough for a common person. A common person is confused in what capacity to buy. Either we have to buy a non-pressurized solar water heater or pressurized type of solar water heater, tubular type model or a panel type model and lastly which brand to buy. And mostly people are confused. First they are selecting a brand and then they are selecting the other things. So in this video I am going to clarify all your doubts and I am going to follow a sequence. You also follow this sequence while selecting a solar water heater. Watch the video till end and you will be easily selecting your solar water heater of your choice without asking anyone. You don't have to take suggestion from any of the dealer or manufacturer. So suppose you do the inquiry in the market. Suppose a dealer is of brand A. So that dealer will always say good thing about that brand. If the dealer is of brand B, so he will always say good thing about brand B. So you don't fall into that trap. You should know first which solar water heater is good and which is not you have to select your solar water heater watch the video till last and you will be able to do it by your own so let's start so as i said follow the sequence which i am following and you will be able to easily select your water heater so first we have to select is capacity so capacity doesn't depend on how many bathrooms you have or how big is your house it doesn't depend on all these stuffs the only thing which decide capacity is how many people are there in your family who are going to use this solar water heater on a daily basis so a thumb rule you understand 40 to 50 liter per person is the requirement okay so let's say you have five members in your family so multiply it by 40 it is coming to 200 multiply it by 50 so it is coming 250 200 to 250 should be your selection of solar water heater capacity either you buy 200 liter or you buy 250 liter or buy somewhere in between let's say 220 liter if it is available second way of calculating capacity is one more scenario is solar water heater capacity if you see very clearly it is written in lpd liter per day it's not liter it's lpd liter per day so if you buy a 200 lpt it is sufficient for four to five members only and the solar water heater now a technology is coming the quality is improving daily yearly basis nowadays the solar water heater which you are getting in the market can easily run for 15 year plus now let's say three years later number of people changed from five member to eight members so five members will be able to take bath very clearly but extra three people will not be able to take bath because you have selected a solar water heater based on five people not for eight people so if you think in the next coming years let's say five years to six years down the line if you think your number of people are going to increase by a little bit bigger capacity now only so capacity for this video let us take 200 liter you have selected now second stage second stage you have to choose between two types of water heater one is non-pressurized type of solar water heater and the other one is pressurized type of solar water heater which you have to buy so non-pressurized water heater from the name only you can understand non-pressure means the solar water heater cannot handle pressure means the water from wherever it is coming it should come to your overhead tank on the terrace or the syntax tank on the terrace and from the syntax tank it is coming to the bathrooms without pressure pump then your requirement is non-pressurized solar water heater basically from overhead tank water comes downwards because gravity is pulling it and the speed of the water is not that fast that is why the water heater which you need is non-pressurized solar water heater but let's say other scenario water is coming from somewhere and it is going to the pressure pump and from the pressure pump it is going to the bathroom then your requirement is pressurized solar water heater pressurized solar water heater means we can handle pressure now this pressure pump will release the water with a very good amount of pressure and it will hit the solar water heater tank very hard so that is why your water heater needs to handle that pressure that is why your water heater needs to be pressurized this point people get confusion a lot if you have confusion in this point you can comment down i will reply to each one of you so basic simple logic is non-pressurized you buy if you don't have a pressure pump on the terrace if the if you have pressure pump on the terrace you buy a pressurized solar water heater if you are living in a villa community special cases villa communities in villa community let's say there are 100 villas so there is a centralized pumping system if the pumping system pumps the water directly to your bathroom that means water is flowing directly to the bathroom at a certain good pressure that means you need a pressurized solar water heater but this villa communities are pushing your water to the underground sump and then from there you are taking it to the overhead tank and from the overhead tank it is coming simply without pressure pump then means you need a non-pressurized type of solar water heater so i have told you all the types of scenario between selection of non-pressurized water heater and pressurized 
one more thing is for non pressurized solar water heater to buy your overhead tank should be at least 6 feet higher from the terrace let's say this terrace you are going thinking of putting a solar water heater from this terrace your overhead tank should be 6 feet higher it can be 7 8 9 10 anything but it should be higher because our solar water heater self height is 4.5 feet from the terrace let's say this is the terrace 4.5 feet from the terrace is your solar water height so your overhead tank height should be minimum 6 feet then only water will come from there to here so this thing you have to remember if your overhead tank is like that on the same terrace so water will not travel from here to up then you need to buy a pressure pump and then you need to buy a pressurized solar water heater so whole scenario changes so i think i hope you are clear with which type of water heater you have to buy now you have selected capacity now you have selected which type non pressurized type or pressurized type now after that you have to select evacuated tube collector type like this or flat plate collector model like this this etc it is known as etc also or it is known as tubular model also this one is known as fpc or known as panel model also to so which one you have to buy i will first of all tell you the difference then i will tell you exactly what you need to buy tubular model is higher in efficiency means 5 degree more temperature you might get half an hour faster heating you will get and monsoon kind of climate where sun is not there but little bit of humidity and this hotness is there then also tubular model will perform better than the panel model tubular model have higher warranty it has 10 15 and 20 year warranty depending on which brand you are taking and which model you are taking panel model on the other hand you get one year warranty or Five year warranty, not more than that. Tubular model can handle more water hardness. Means the biggest enemy of your solar water heater is water hardness. Means salt content in your water. More salt content, more water hardness, and solar water failing becomes higher. So tubular model can handle more water hardness also. Means 2000 ppm up to it can handle. While panel model can handle up to 600 ppm of water hardness only. So if you are living in a very high water hardness area go for a tubular model tubular model is less price also if you compare tubular model is half of the price as compared to a panel model so every good thing is with tubular model only panel model is good in two things first panel model is physically very strong but tube model is not physically strong because the tubes are made up of borosilicate glass material which you see and it can break how it will break it it will not break because of the operations issues or the heatness issue it will break if you do any kind of physical activity let's say you have children at your house who play cricket football or badminton at your terrace they might throw their bat on the tube and tube will break other example is if you have monkeys nearby who like climb on the terrace all the time so they might break your tubes but in panel model if you buy 200 liter you get two panels each of the panel is 35 35 kg weight and on top of this panel you get 4 mm toughened glass so it makes it unbreakable by accident you cannot break it by accident at least second good thing is of panel model is panel model have buybacks means if you have purchased both tubular model and panel model and you have used it for 10 10 years tubular model no one is will be interested in taking it as a scrap but panel model people will be interested in taking on top of which they will pay you also so prime example is let's say one example 200 liter uh, if you are in bangalore type location you will get 8000 to 10000 rupees of your old solar water heater scrap companies will pay you and then they will take your water heater but tubular model people will not be interested i said leave it now you throw it so from this scenarios all points you can select tubular model you have to buy or you have to buy a panel model but i will tell you very simple if your requirement is non pressurized go for tubular model if your requirement is pressurized go for a panel model very simple now we are entering into the last section basically which brand to buy so i will select non pressurized differently different logic is there in selecting a non pressurized water heater and different logic is there in selecting a pressurized solar water heater so first if your requirement is 200 lpd non pressurized etc evacuated tube model type if you want to buy then how to select a brand first in a solar water heater majorly there are three parts tank tubes stand stand and tubes of every company is almost same and this is not a differentiation factor so forget about it don't think about it now coming to the last thing which is tank tank defines the quality of your solar water heater now tank also have four layers outer tank which is almost mostly powder coated every company same second layer puff insulation and with a thickness of 50 mm every company same so these two factors are almost same in every company that doesn't define which brand to buy so forget about this even if it is little bit different brand to brand but forget about this because doesn't matter third layer and fourth layer is important now 
third layer can be stainless steel tank sometimes can be gi tank sometimes can be ms tank and there are other varieties of tank also but nowadays because of the fourth layer third layer importance has been low so you don't have to focus on the third layer also fourth layer is for is coating coating for what coating on the top of third layer to protect your third layer so coating can be blue glass coating diamond coating glass coating or proclaim coating any type of coating all are same it's just the different different varieties of names so if the water heater you have is four layers so you doesn't matter we every brand of product is good but two more factors are there example price service in your area so if you are living in a city hyderabad bangalore chennai you can buy any any of the brand because all brand services are available so recommendation is v guard you can buy have four layer tank very good service and good warranty also second varistar solar third sudarshan solar fourth anu solar fifth supreme solar any one you can buy if you are in bangalore everything is same just see which service and the price which you are getting is good enough to justify that brand or not so very easy selection now coming to the panel model if your requirement is 200 lpd pressurized panel model how to select first point how much pressure your solar water heater can handle it will be written in the technical specification it can handle 6 bar 8 bar or 3 bar it depends so read that or ask the dealer ki how much pressure it can handle if it can handle more pressure it is better your pressure pump which is releasing water to you is at 3 bar and 4 bar so any one which can handle more than 4 bar is good but if my water heater can handle more pressure it is better means material quality is better thickness of the material is better that is why it can handle more pressure so choose whichever can handle 8 bar second factor is warranty factor higher the warranty better it is to those companies who are giving you 5 year warranty choose them rather than choosing the companies which are giving you one year warranty from this two factors only now if there are let's say for prime example is bangalore there are more than 100 companies in bangalore so it gets very difficult for a person to select a pressurized solar water heater so these two factors if you choose all the brands will be removed 8 bar pressure handling capacity and 5 years warranty approximately 5 companies are there which are satisfying these two filters now coming to the quality quality point number a your inner tank thickness your inner tank thickness should be higher then only it will run longer and longer so if companies are giving 3 mm or 3 mm plus it is better 2.5 mm 2 mm also companies are giving so don't follow that 3 mm or plus is better second is on top of your solar panel you will see strippings if it is copper it will soak better sun energy compared to aluminum so ask the dealer or read the specification it is copper or it is aluminum always choose copper if you need a better heating then choose brand if you choose if you are able to select all these three points what what pressure handling capacity warranty and quality you will get to know automatically which are good so prime example here is vigard again varistar solar anu solar these are the three prime example of pressurized solar water heater which are best in the market so here we go the summary is we have i have told you how to select capacity how to select between non pressurized solar water heater and pressurized how to select a tubular model and a panel model which one to select and lastly quality which brand to buy or how to choose a solar water heater in this category also or in this category also hope you have liked this video and if you have any type of technical questions to ask me please comment down your problems lastly i want to say that solar clue is a e-commerce website you can come here you can read all the specifications you can see the original product image you can see installation image you can see the measurement of the solar water heater also everything you are going to get and at a best price any inquiry directly you can call on this below number hope you have liked this video thank you so much